Being a neurologist, what I deal with uh, each day, by definition, are brain disorders. And uh, these days, ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactive, Hyperactivity Disorder, is considered in that bailiwick. So I see several children each day whose parents bring them in because they can't sit in their seat, uh, they can't focus, they're easily distracted. And the prompting generally has come from the teacher that mom or dad should take their child to the doctor and get him or her on a drug right away. It turns out that there is strong evidence that some, if not most, kids who have hyperactivity, who have distractibility, are gluten sensitive. And we have very frequently been rewarded by seeing kids uh, obtain wonderful academic performance when they've simply gone gluten free. Uh, one uh, individual, a child, four years old, had just was in preschool, and the preschool teacher had told the parents uh, that your son is all over the place, you really need to take him to a, a doctor. Well, the first place the parents took uh, the child was to their pediatrician, who immediately recommended for a four-year-old child that that child should be medicated with an amphetamine-like drug. And the mother, who we know, uh, actually was one of our technicians, uh, came to us and said, I just can't imagine putting my child on this medication. We evaluated his blood. He was gluten sensitive. We put him on a gluten-free diet. We added in some DHA, which is a, an omega-3, very important for brain development. Uh, and studies have, in fact, demonstrated that DHA, high levels of DHA are associated with a decreased risk for ADHD. And DHA might also explain why there's a 50% reduced risk for ADHD in children who are breastfed. And the third thing that we did for this child was we put him on what are called probiotics. We gave him good bacteria for two reasons. Number one, when people are gluten sensitive, generally we find that the balance of bacteria in the gut is off. And oftentimes we find that to be the case because they've previously been exposed to antibiotics. And this is a child who, in fact, had had a lot of antibiotics for ear infections, hadn't been breastfed. So, three things, gluten-free diet, high dosage DHA, and probiotics. Two weeks after we started the program, the parents received a phone call from the teachers thanking the parents for medicating the child. Well, the child was never medicated, and we kind of chuckled. We never told the teacher. I saw him a couple of years later. He was the tallest child in his class. He was the youngest child in his class, and he was excelling. Recognize that treating ADHD by giving kids amphetamines on the outside, right off the bat, seems a little bit uh, unusual. But beyond that, recognize that you're only treating the smoke. You're not treating the fire. The fire is the inflammation in, that's ch in that child's head that could be coming from gluten sensitivity, imbalance of bacteria, or inappropriate levels, low levels of DHA. So again, chance favors a prepared mind, and it's important to, to look at the big perspective.